From massive burger chains to restaurants that specialize in making sandwiches, we take a look at 10 of the most expensive fast food franchises. Number 10. Wendy's Wendy's is a burger restaurant akin to McDonald's or Burger King, but with a pricey twist. Since 1969, the chain has grown, with more than 6,500 locations all across the world as of 2010. While you can get a cheap meal at McDonald's and have to pay a bit more for Burger King, Wendy's is the most expensive of the big three. The most inexpensive burger, Dave's Hot and Juicy Quarter Pound Single Burger with Cheese, costs nearly $5 across all 50 states. The Baconator, Wendy's famous bacon-loaded cheeseburger, is nearly 7 bucks. Number 9. Subway the footlong is arguably one of Subway's most popular menu items, but enjoying any of the varieties like the Black Forest Ham, Meatball Marinara, Veggie Delight, and Subway Seafood Sensation will cost you between 5 and 8 bucks per sandwich. The 6-inch sandwiches are a bit more affordable at nearly $5 a piece, but even the salads will put a wallop on your wallet with prices like 6 to $8 for the spicy Italian, Monterey Chicken Melt, or Roast Beef Salad. Number 8. Chipotle Mexican Grill While dining at Chipotle, don't expect a burrito for less than $7 or $8, even if you just add steak or chicken. The price doesn't change if you forego meat entirely. The addition of chips or guacamole is nearly $2 each respectively, but you can combine the two for a little over $3. If you decide to unwind with an alcoholic beverage, it will increase your bill anywhere between nearly $4 for a beer and nearly $8 for a Patron Margarita. Number 7. Fuddruckers The original Fudd's Burger, which boasts a hefty one-third pound patty, cost about $6. The cheapest item on the menu for adults is the Ultimate Bacon Grilled Cheese for about 5 or 7 bucks, which may not satisfy you if you come into the Fuddruckers looking for a burger. Some sandwiches, like the Half Pound The Works Burger, the Half Pound Southwest Burger, and the Half Pound Barbecue Burger are all nearly a whopping $10 each. You'll pay extra for an any exotic menu items like the Elk, Cobe, or Buffalo Burgers, which are all nearly $11 and up. Number 6. Firehouse Subs for most sandwiches, the medium version costs about $7 and the large about $9. This doesn't matter if you order the Firehouse Meatball Sandwich, the New York Steamer, the Hook and Ladder, or the Sweet and Spicy Meatball Sub. Some large sandwiches, like the Turkey Bacon Ranch or the Firehouse Hero, are nearly $10 each. A few of the lighter subs are better for your health and your bank account. Clocking in at 500 calories or below, the hook and ladder light is about $6, while the sriracha beef, mama's homemade chicken salad, and the Captain Sorensen's datil pepper grilled chicken are all about $7 each. Number 5. Arby's when you walk into your local Arby's, the sandwich prices differ. The single sandwiches aren't too much of a strain, as a small roast beef is about $4 and a small beef and cheddar will ring up at about 5 However, most consumers also want a drink and a side, and it's the combos that really hurt at Arby's. While the small roast beef sandwich is $4, the combo meal is nearly 7 which is practically doubled. By the time you get up to the biggest roast beef sandwich on Arby's menu, you're paying about $10 for a combo meal. Number 4. Captain D's While you never know just what kind of seafood goes into those filet o fish mills, at Captain D's you can get catfish, shrimp, crab, tilapia, and more. Even land lovers can order dishes like chicken. There are nearly 530 different Captain D's locations in the U.S. as of 2015. The prices are steep though, as two pieces of batter dipped fish will ring up to nearly $8 and adding one more piece of fish increases the price to 9 The feast in platters are also where the prices get dicey. A deluxe seafood platter is nearly $11, as is a catfish feast. To feed the whole family, have at least $26 on hand for a 10-piece box of fish. Number 3. Papa Murphy's most pizzas on the menu don't cost less than $14 to $15. Whether you choose original or thin crust, and whether you go for minimal toppings or you want vegetables or meats on your pie. The Gourmet Delight pizzas, which Papa Murphy's prepares with artesian thin crust, are actually a better value at $14 to $18 a pop. You can enjoy such flavors as herb chicken Mediterranean, Angus steak and roast garlic, and chicken bacon artichoke. Number 2. Long John Silver's Long John Silver's offers a variety of seafood, including shrimp, 
cod and clams at some locations. You may even be able to enjoy clam chowder or fish tacos in some states. The chain is also known for its yummy hush puppies side dish. However, you certainly get what you pay for here. A basic platter which can include various pieces of shrimp or chicken, fish or chicken, or even fish, shrimp, and chicken all costs between $10 and $12. Even individual meals, such as three pieces of chicken, eight pieces of shrimp, or two pieces of fish are a little expensive at $8 to $10. Number 1. Panera Bread all signature panini half sandwiches cost between $7 to $10, including options like the tomato and mozzarella, smokehouse turkey, chipotle chicken, and steak and white cheddar. Whole sandwiches are priced higher at $8 to $11. The signature sandwiches and the cafe sandwiches from the chain will ring up about the same. The pasta dishes can really surprise when it comes time to pay for your meal. Small portions of the chicken sorrentina pasta, butternut squash ravioli, or pesto sacchettini cost between $8 to $10 for a small. Larger portions start at $11 and up. Even a large mac and cheese is overpriced at $8 to $10. Check out our other videos and remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos every week.